Okay guys, so this is the experiment for the dialysis tubing and what we're investigating here is osmosis. So one of the first things you're going to do, you're going to cut the dialysis tubing bags here. So it comes like this. So you just want to cut it into about uh, eight inch strips. And then after you do the eight inch strips, you're going to place them in water. So you're going to uh, place them in water, let them soak for about one to three minutes. Once you wet your dialysis tube, then you're going to use your thumb and index finger to pry it, to get it open here on each of each side. And once you're done with that, then you're going to tie a knot on this end, and then you're going to fill in this side of the tube with the solution. So now we're going to pour our 40% glucose solution into the dialysis bag. And the way that we prep the solution, so you're going to add uh, 40 grams to 100 milliliters. You're going to pour roughly about 25 milliliters into the dialysis bag before you go ahead and tie it. So we now have our dialysis tubing with 40% glucose. So the next thing you want to do is just to weigh the dialysis bag. So make note of that, 49 grams. As you're preparing this, and once you fill it up and cut it, you want to make sure, test both sides to make sure that the solution is not leaking out of the dialysis tube. Because if it is, then you're going to have to redo it and use a different bag. Uh, one thing, just make sure as you're, you know, tying it up like bread, uh, make sure that you're doing that tightly and then make sure you put the knife, the knot in the correct spot. Now we have our four different beakers with different solutions. So the first beaker has DI water. This one has 40% glucose and both, both of these are just DI water. And for the different dialysis tubing in each of them, for tube one, dialysis bag has 40% glucose. For tube two, we have 40% glucose in the dialysis bag as well. For two, uh, for beaker three, we have a 10% uh, salt solution within the dialysis bag. And then for beaker four, we have a 40% uh, sucrose dialysis bag. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna let it sit there for an hour, uh, make sure to weigh weigh the dialysis bag before putting it into each of their uh, respective beakers. So after the hour is up, what we're now going to do is test for the presence of sugars and then test for the presence of salt within each of these different test tubes here. So Benedict's test for the presence of sugar, silver nitrate is what tests for salts. Uh, this is a one molar solution, so we have to pour a 3%, so you'll add uh, three milliliters of this into a hundred uh, milliliters of DI water. So it says 1B, 1S, 3B, and then 4B. So the B stands for beaker and then the S stands for a sack because for this one, for 1S, one you're going to have to cut the sack and then uh, pour some of that into uh, this test tube. What should be in these beakers, so for uh, 1B, 1S, as well as uh, 4B, you should pour, uh, it's about four drops of the Benedict solution into each of them. Now that you already have the, the Benedicts in there, then you're going to uh, then use these pipettes. So you'll take about four milliliters. So this is, these pipettes have about three, so you'll do three and then add an additional milliliter. So you'll put four into here, so that's for uh, one. And then uh, for one for one S, then you're going to cut the sack and then put that into this one. And then for the last one for 4B, you'll use a beaker for use a fresh pipette, and then you're going to add the same thing four milliliters into there. Uh, for the uh, for three for three B, once again this is for the beaker here. So you'll add I think it may be a little bit less than four. Uh, but you're going to add some of that, the instructions in the lab manual, but you'll add that into 3B and then you'll add your silver nitrate. And so what you should see, so the 3B for the silver nitrate, that's what's going to, it's, you'll see like the formation of a precipitate. When there's a color change, that's, that indicates that sugars are present. 
So it'll change from that blue color to either like a yellow or a green color. Once you add to, you know, you pour the solutions here into each of these different pipettes, this one, this one, so 1B, 1S, and then 4B, you're all gonna put those into boiling water. So we're doing that, we're putting it in the boiling water because it's just part, uh, part of the test to get your results. So the first two, 1B and 1S, those are going to be in there for about, I think it's about four minutes or so, or two to three minutes, and then this one takes a little bit longer. This is going to be about, uh, I think it's roughly five minutes or so. Uh, once again, the instructions are in the lab manual, but you'll boil them, and then you'll take them out, and then you'll get your uh, test results, and then you'll, you'll write your test results uh, down. Um, one other thing, so at the very beginning, at the very beginning, you're going to take your um, each of these dialysis bag, put it out on the paper towels. You'll dry them, and then after you dry them, then you'll weigh you weigh them, and then uh, after you weigh them, that's when you'll go ahead and you can start doing the pipetting, and then you can cut the the one S for the sack uh, to put that into this uh, test tube. So write your results down, and that should be it. Uh, but make sure that they weigh the bags before and then after uh, and record those results. The 40% uh, glucose, this bag, we can reuse this throughout the week because there's not going to be a change in the weight uh, before and after. So we can reuse this one in the 40% uh, glucose solution here. The other three for one, three, and four, those bags have to be prepped for each lab and then as well as each of the solutions in the beaker. Whenever you have to boil uh, one and then as well as so one and then as well as three, you want to make sure to use the two, uh, 250 milliliter beaker. These different um, test tubes, they don't fall. So as the water is boiling and then before you even transfer it, after they add the solution to, to each of them, right? remember you're adding the Benedict solution and then the stuff that's in the beaker. After they add it, make sure to use the parafilm to cover it here at the top. So they'll cover it at the top and then they'll transfer it. All right, obviously this is gonna be on the hot plate. The water's gonna be boiling. So they're gonna transfer it, uh, transfer it into there and then they'll leave it in there, you know, roughly like five minutes or so. And then they're gonna use the test tube clamps. So they'll use the test tube clamps to go ahead and pull it out um, and put it into, what we have over here, the test tube rack. 